Hi, C Matt Dye here. Hopefully you're having an awesome day. I wanted to go over the CNFT market real quick, go over the top five and talk about the volume because we have had some interesting times lately in the CNFT market. Uh, people leaving projects, rug pulls. It's been very interesting. Let's get into it. So, so far looking at 24 hours, the volume is pretty pathetic. It is down day over day. I don't really look at it like that, but since we're on it, why not? Uh, week to week, you can see sales and assets sold are up. However, volume is down overall. If we go to month over month, you can see volume down again. Sales and assets sold are also down. And then if we look at overall volume, we can see that it is still bad. Once it, once it broke this level right here, it has stayed below, which you know coincides with the market right now the market is quite dismal and so is the CNFT market if we go to the top five we can see that over the past week the top five four of them are established projects then we have number six is an established project number eight number nine uh, number ten number twelve so a lot of the top projects that volume is going into are those established projects. Number one is Space Buds. Number two, Ted Nation, they just minted recently. Number three, Ape Society. Number four, Clay Nation. Number five, Chilled Kongs. And Ball Scout Rocket Club comes out with number six. Clay Nation pitches come out at number eight. Cornucopia is number nine. Clay Nation goes Charlotte, 10. The only reason I'm covering those is the majority of them are established projects. You have Deadly Sins, they minted recently, and Ted Nation as well. Okay, now that we've covered that, let's get into the actual top five. Number one is Space Buds. So if I click on Space Buds, right now the floor is at 5,550. We were looking at 5,550 to 5,000 as being a great place for accumulation. I still think that's a great spot for accumulation. ADA is so low right now, you're getting it for a really good deal even at 5550 or 5000 You're still getting a really good deal. You know, Personally, I'm not going to chase it, but it's a great time to get in because whenever the CNFT market does start to run, I think Space Buds is going to be that project that takes center stage. It may not be the top project, but it's going to be a big project, you know, going out five, six, seven, ten years. So I think it is going to be an important project for Cardano, for the CNFT ecosystem. So that's that's how I'm viewing Space Buds right now. You can see the all-time high sell is 510,000 ADA. You can't really look the other way on that. That's huge. So Space Buds is the OG project in my opinion. Next, Ted Nation, they minted uh, a few days ago. And you can see it's kind of basing here, trying to find a floor. It hasn't really found it yet. You did have a uh, floor down here around 60, minimum sell around 49. Right now, floor price is at 93. And they had an all-time high sell on the 29th of June at 3,000, or 2,999. But that is pretty big so that is uh, the next project I don't think they found a floor yet but it seems like anything between 50 and 70 is good if it does come down a little more uh, I think it's a project that's probably going to be okay you had a you know 3,000 all-time high sell however I've seen a lot of projects in the past that have a you know 4,000 5,000 sell people buy the number one or top 10 of the project and then it just kind of wilters a little bit and dies I think Ted Nation probably has a little bit uh, into it uh, a lot of people trying to buy the NFTs it looks like a lot of the cells are well that's that's definitely not floor but it looks like the majority of the cells are around the floor so you know, if, if the majority of the cells are on the floor, it's something I'm just going to stay away from. If rares were being bought more more often than 
probably something I'd look into, but I'm just going to stay away from this one. I don't know it. I didn't mint it, so I'm going to stay away. Uh, next project, Ape Society. It is an established project. A lot of hype around it. And you had an all-time high sell of 107000 Also, that's not something you can look the other way on. This is definitely a big project, and it's going to be a big project in the future. Uh, can't, don't really know how big. I think Space Budge will always be the OG, and I think Clay's will probably take Ape Society out. But Ape Society is a good project, and we, we see this with the volume. You had uh, come down here around 1500, 1500, 1600 was the buy point. Now it's starting to move up a little bit. It's at 2275. I wouldn't be a buyer personally unless it came back down near that uh, 16, 1800 level. If it came back down there, I would be a buyer. But right now, I'm just kind of watching it. So. Not really trying to get into this one, but if that I was, that's what I would be looking for for a nice little pullback. So, be interesting there. It's going to be an interesting next couple of weeks as far as the overall crypto market and then the CNFT space also just because volume is so stagnant and, you know. Uh, next project, Clay Nation. Clay Nation is a project I'm really hyped on. You can see all-time high sell of 100000 Right now, the floor is at 29.20, and this project does have a lot of rares bought. Space Buds, Ape Society, and Clay Nation are projects where the rares are being bought, the floor is being bought, the whole project is just being bought. So we saw it come down here around that 2300 level, and then it's been shooting off. It couldn't quite uh, break this area here. And now it's coming back down. However, if it stays above 2,800, then maybe it does have that run up tier towards that 3,200 level. If it does come back down, you know, getting in between 2,500 and uh, 2,200 would be a great area. You have the clay token coming out soon. They're re redoing the clay paper. Version three is out. Talking about the clay token, and now they're doing version four. That's going to be very interesting, and the tokens are supposed to come out pretty soon. They were delayed a little bit just because of some legal jargon they had to get down. And actually, when projects do that, I actually like it. You know, you want projects to be able to be legit. You want projects to be able to not get fined by the SEC, not get ran over. And you saw that with Boss Cat. Boss Cat changed their traje trajectory a little bit recently, over the, like a few weeks ago, because of that. They didn't want the SEC to come after them for anything, so they were going to take some measures to ensure against that. Now, you do have some projects that say legal stuff, and they're just full of crap. It happens, and that's why a lot of, you can see the top projects are mostly established projects you know space buds ape society clay nation chill kongs ball scout rocket club land by clay nation cornucopias good charlotte old money block owls ape society land pavia mandrills ada invaders so a lot of that is your big projects because people believe in these projects i believe in these projects a lot of other people believe in these projects. They aren't fly by night. They're not a project that hasn't minted yet. Talking about they want to do things differently for legal reasons, delay the mint or whatever. You know, um, these projects are straightforward. They tell you what's going on and they look you right in the eye and they tell you. And I really respect that. So, anyway, that little ramble there. But that is my Clay Nation. Anywhere between 2200 2500, I think, is a good area to get in. And you do get a lot of clay token. Clay token is based on the life of your clay. And you do get clay tokens for a minimum of three years if you hold that clay for three years. So very interesting times. Now let's go to Chilled Kongs, another one of my favorite projects. All-time high sell of 135000 These are some monster projects here. Uh, four out of the top five are monsters. 
you can see the floor right now at 2280 I've been looking around 2000 to 2300 to be a great buy point I've been talking about that for a few weeks now we actually did make a trade over here wrote it up got out and now it's coming back down which is very interesting and I do like this area whenever they come out with the magic mushrooms Kongs are just gonna run into that and getting over 3,000 to 4,000 wouldn't surprise me so getting that run would be nice and then you'll probably have a little bit of a pullback and then we can get in at that time for a long-term hold or you just get enough here sell a few when it goes higher and then you have some free Kongs so either way you want to play it but that's kind of how I'm looking at it that 2,000 2,300 level Kongs is you can't go wrong with that project so out of the top five I'm not messing with Ted Nation personally this is my personal thing I just don't know anything about the project and I don't have enough time to really go deep and look at it join the community ask a bunch of questions you know time is one of the commodities that we just don't have enough of it's the most precious commodity that we actually can't trade on the open market like everything else like natural gas or you know foreign exchange or something like that but you know I'm not messing with that space budge I like ape society I like clay nation I like chilled Kongs I like so also ball scout rocket club look at that 1000 very interesting I was really looking at 800 to a thousand we'll see if it does drop down um, I'm just talking about that because I've been talking about it the last few weeks 800 to 900 would be an awesome buy point a thousand still a great buy point but me personally that's what I'm looking for so anyway those are my thoughts hopefully you enjoyed them if you like the video throw a like if not throw a dislike I appreciate the feedback whichever way you want to go I appreciate it so thank you anyway with that have a great great rest of your day I'll see you around the crypto markets take care